He fought in three wars and survived the notorious Bataan Death March as a prisoner of war. But until today, the Army had never honored retired Major Jesse Baltazar with the Purple Heart. Suzanne Kennedy was there as that finally changed. It was the pomp and pageantry fitting of one of the nation's highest military honors. From his position of distinction, 94-year-old Falls Church resident, retired Major Jesse Bathazar watched with pride as he waited to receive a Purple Heart. This award is 70 years overdue. Bathazar served in three wars, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. He was wounded in 1941 and survived the Bataan Death March. Today, he was recognized for his service to his country. You are a great example to all of us of the character, confidence, and commitment necessary to ensure our country remains free. Bathazar's World War II service records were lost, so he and his family have worked tirelessly during the last two years to ensure he received the honor. It is even more important as the former soldier and retired airman has been diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. Well, I'm very grateful, you know, that, that they finally got it and that the, uh, all the members of my family uh, are, were here today to witness it. I'm sure they'll never forget it and they can pass it on to the next generation. Bathazar was previously awarded the Bronze Star, but for his family, this recognition has special meaning. This is the culmination of his entire career. It really is. I mean, we have heard these stories of how he was wounded since we were little children, and really the question came up a couple years ago, where's the Purple Heart? Overwhelmed. I mean, it's, it's only in America, I think, would somebody be honored like this. Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News. Mm.